Hello everyone and welcome to another Versus Video Deck Tech. I am BBD, joined yet again. CBM. And we are going to be battling with two decks from last weekend's events. So there was an SCG Open in Portland. Yeah, there were a lot of events. And there was also a Grand Prix in Toronto. Uh, I and a Grand Prix in Sao Paulo. Yes, there was actually. There are <laughs> double Grand Prix. Uh, and I actually attended the Grand Prix in Toronto, which was won by Abzan Control. But the second place deck was this Mardu Dragon deck. Uh, that Edgar Magalhaas, not I probably spelled that pronounced that wrong, but uh, close ended up, enough. Yeah, close enough. Uh, still counts. Got second place with, and it looks pretty sweet actually. It is. It's a little bit of a surprise that I'm not the one playing dragons, uh, especially since I've been trying to figure out a Marty Dragons deck for some time, and Edgar did, and it looks great. Yeah, and ended up doing really well for him at the tournament. So let's go ahead and take a look at the deck and see what it has. So, really, it looks like a pretty standard Mardu deck for a lot of things here. You have, like, Seeker, Soulfire, Rabble Master, uh, Crackling Doom, uh, pretty much a standard Mardu base. Mm -hmm. uh, but where it differs is instead of things like Lightning Strike and, and things of that nature, we instead have this, like, Dragon package. So we have, like, Draconic Roar and Foul Tongue Invocation to go with 10 Dragons. Mm -hmm. And uh, Foul Tongue in Invocation has quickly proven itself to be one of the top five cards in standard, I think. One, at least top ten. Yeah, it's definitely very good, and I think that it is. Uh, it's good and bred out of necessity. Like if Ojitai wasn't a thing, I don't think Veltong Invocation would be as great as it is. Yeah. Uh, but just simply, you have to be able to kill that card. So there you go. And the nice thing about this deck too is we have two flying creatures, actually three flying creatures that are capable of brawling with Ojitai. Mm -hmm. One of which actually has protection from Ojitai. So. Um, a defensive Ojitai is not nearly as good against this deck, nor is an offensive one where we actually have ways to interact with it. Um, we also have Crackling Doom and Foul Tongue Invocation. So this deck is very well set up against Esper Dragons, and it actually looks like it's built with that deck in mind. Like, notice we don't have any real like loose cards in that matchup. The only one is Draconic Roar, but like Coligan's Command can even make them discard a card and get back a creature. Yep. Uh, here we have like Thought Season instead of something like Chain to the Rocks that other lists would be playing. So we're definitely built with control decks in mind, which I think is where you want to be. Absolutely. Not only that, but this deck is also very good against the other dragon decks. So Green Red Dragons isn't much of a thing right now, even though it did do very well in... Um, an event the previous weekend. I believe we got second uh, at, at the Open. In it was Cleveland. In Cleveland. Yep. Um, so, like, fighting other Storm Breath Dragons is always something that these Dragon decks have had an issue with because there's no more Mizium Mortars. There really isn't a good way to handle Storm Breath Dragon <coughs> when you're playing the Dragon strategy. Uh, but now we have Crackling Doom, which is just a great card. In fact, I think it's probably... It's the best card in standard that's not not seen play. Yeah, and I think absolutely. that now that it's starting to see play again, like with this deck, and as we move forward, I think it's just going to prove to be one of the best cards because of the way the format is shaping up. Yeah, like I don't think there was ever a time where Crackling Doom has been bad. The yeah, only it's just been tough to play Mardu. Yeah, basically, <laughs> yeah, exactly that. Crackling Doom has always been just this phenomenal card. Mm -hmm. um, every standard format since it's been legal, uh, no matter what the meta game is, the issue has just been exactly what CVM said, like. Mardu sometimes just isn't good. Yep. Um, but now it seems like it actually is pretty good against, especially with these dragons, uh, including Colgan the Storm's Fury, which is surprisingly powerful. Um, very good with your other dragons, but also is good with things like Rabble Master too. Uh, just an extra way to pump all your goblins and stuff. Absolutely. And if I learned anything from you know the first bit of standard before the Pro Tour, it's that the damage off of Draconic War adds up very quickly. And so you can end the game, you know, with a few, you know, hasting dragons. Hitting for five with Culligan Storm's Fury at haste is very good, and it even dodges sorcery speed removal. Yeah, and, and like to go along with that too, like Crackling Doom also is yeah. incidental damage between Roar and Doom. Like our opponents might be at twelve life, and we haven't even attacked them with the creature. Yep. I mean, that's not even taking into account the fact that Culligan's command is bugged on Moto and deals two damage to them <laughs> and their creature, and in addition to other modes. So. You know, if we're playing this deck on Magic Online, we even have a little bit extra of an edge. Sleeve it up. Yep. <laughs> uh, but anyway, that is the main deck for the Mardu Dragon deck. Let's go ahead and look at the sideboard and see what goodies we have there. All right, so we're back with the sideboard, and we have kind of a variety of options here. Um, <coughs> we have a lot of good, like, anti-control cards, and in, in that another thought system, Read the Bones, a Culligan's Command, uh, Siege, and Mastery. So this deck can really 
cut a lot of the bad removal spells like Draconic mm -hmm. Roar and move to a much more uh, like well-tuned build in post-board games against control decks. But we also have access to Crux of Fate and Anger the Gods where we can morph into a control deck against aggressive decks. So really this deck is able to shift gears pretty well pre and post board. Uh, Crux of Fate's really, Crux of Fate and Anger are both extremely uh, synergistic with our dragons in that it doesn't kill either any of them. Yeah, I actually really like Anger of the Gods right now um, with how popular cards like Deathmas Raptor uh, are becoming, having a way to clean up you know, just a bunch of creatures on your opponent's side and exile the Deathmas Raptors. Uh, it's very important. Not only Deathmiss Raptor, but just exiling their creatures is very good because then it reduces the effectiveness of something like Den Protector. Yeah, definitely. Um, and then we have a Singleton Elspeth, which, as shown by the Grand Prix in Toronto last week, and Elspeth's still a real card. Yeah, the card's just very good. <laughs> so uh, ha having access to this is good in really against any kind of like an Abzan deck. Uh, Elspeth's just one of the best cards against other Abzan decks. So uh, having access to Elspeth to bring in in those matchups is. Pretty sweet when we can also bring in some of these other cards to bridge the gap. Um, you know, read the bones or, or Thoughtseize or whatever to buy us time to get to Elspeth. Another unique deck that I actually like Elspeth against is Mono Red. Uh, with a deck like this where we're just turning into like this control deck, you know, making sure that we're preserving our life total, um, eventually we get to a point where we still need to kill our opponent, then Elspeth is a card that does that while also playing defense at the same time. So something like Kolg and the Storm <coughs> Fury and Stormbreath Dragon are both going to be very poor against the red deck, yep. whereas Elspeth is going to be exactly what you need. Yeah, it's definitely a better top-end threat than any of our dragons, especially when we have cards like Anger, um, a lot of removal spells in our main deck, and Foul Tongue Invocation, so we're mm -hmm. not going to be struggling for ways to survive until turn 5 and 6, but we may definitely need a way to close the game, and Elspeth definitely does that. Yep. Uh, but anyway, that is the Mardu Dragon deck uh, that got second place at Grand Prix Toronto. Uh, CVM is going to be battling with a blue, uh, mono blue, splashing green collected company deck that uh, took top four at the SCG Open in Portland last weekend. Uh, we're not doing a deck tech for that because there was a deck tech done at the tournament that you can check out, and we'll have that link for you as well on StarCityGames.com. So yep, make sure you check out the link for that. The deck's real sweet, uh, and for any of you that watched on <laughs> coverage, you got to see how it smacked around Mono Red. So, yeah, uh, our our very own Cedric Phillips uh, was not able to overcome the old Master of Waves. So <laughs> the old Wall of Frost Master of Waves deck. Yeah, so uh, make sure you check that out and stay tuned and watch our video as well.